North Korean construction workers are on the run, but not from North Korea, but from Russia. Correspondent Sarah Williamson has more. Sarah? Good evening, Greta. That's right. North Korean construction workers often get deployed to Russia in order to earn money for the regime. And despite having most of what they earn taken away, workers still get more money doing this than what they would do working back home in North Korea, though it seems it's only enough to scrape by. But recently, more and more are going on the run after finding out that they will be sent to work in Russian-controlled areas of Ukraine. Now, Ukraine's Donbass region, which is in desperate need of reconstruction because of Russia's war, is waiting for these North Korean workers to arrive under Russia's command to clean up the areas it's illegally annexed. But they won't be arriving anytime soon. Sources told Radio Free Asia that the workers were shaken by the news and are nowhere to be seen at these construction sites these days. But I'm sure it doesn't come to any surprise that the problem of North Korean workers escaping isn't new. Even in the most peaceful times, many North Koreans who are deployed to Russia go missing, with many North Korean defectors speaking about the desire for North Koreans to be free. Though UN Security Council sanctions issued on North Korea in 2020 banned countries from allowing such a practice. Russia is still believed to be one of the biggest hosts of North Korean manual workers regardless of this. But let's be honest, Greta, it's not just the North Koreans who are the ones who are on the run here. Russians themselves are even trying to flee their own country and avoid being drafted into this war. Sarah Williams.